Hey everyone, my name is Ben Gramico. I'm from InterNACHI. That's the International Association of Certified Home Inspectors. And we do free online live interactive webinars all the time. Um, sometimes I'll do some presentations and sometimes we have a special guest. And today we do have a special guest. It's Dave Klima from Indiana. Uh, he has a home inspection company, Aardvark Home Inspectors. Um, and he also has another idea for us home inspectors to think about a program and he's going to talk about it today on how to, um, it's about pre-listing inspections, it's about networking with real estate agents, it's about business and marketing and additional revenue streams and all that good stuff. So um, if you are interested in all that, stick around, um, ask questions uh, right now, uh, before the presentation, during the presentation, afterwards, and Dave's going to handle the questions later. Uh, and uh, Dave, I want to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule. I know you're a busy fella and uh, you're an InterNACHI member, you're a home inspector and you're a business person. And I really appreciate uh, taking the time out and talk to us on InterNACHI webinars. Well, hey, Ben, thanks for uh, letting me come on today. I really appreciate it. And um, I am a coach and mentor at heart. So I love sharing a lot of the ideas that we've used over the years to be successful. You know, some home inspectors know me a little bit because I've, I've uh, um, given presentations at conferences. Um, but for those of you that don't know me, we started our company in 1998 with $1,000 in a 12 by 12 room. And fast forward to today, we're a multi-million dollar company. We have 42 employees. Uh, we do home inspections. We do radon testing, install radon mitigation systems. Uh, we do mold testing, do a little bit of mold remediation work. We have uh, a full service termite and pest control company. And I'm not the smartest guy in our industry. I never profess to be. And if we can be successful, you can be successful. And today I want to talk to you uh, about the Inspected Houses platform, which is a platform that I created. But I don't want you to feel like this is a, like some huge sales pitch, um, whether you sign up for or not for this program. If you friend me on Facebook and, and you send me private messages and, and you need any kind of help at all, uh, I'd love to do uh, help you as much as I can because, again, I'm a coach and mentor at heart. Um, so what I want to do is I definitely want to talk about the Inspected um, Houses platform here. And, um, and, and my mission today is really, again, to be as educational as I can and to teach you something that, you know, 90% of home inspectors don't know. Um, I want to offer you some words of encouragement and inspiration. Um, again, you can be as successful as you want to be in this industry. Um, there's a lot of great training at InterNACHI, um, and I would uh, encourage all of you guys to take advantage of that. Um, but again, you know, uh, calling guys like myself who've been around in the industry for a long time and been successful, I would encourage you to, you know, to reach out to, to some people and, and learn some things from them too, okay? Um, let's see. Uh, I want you to, today I want you to think about, you know, how you're currently uh, doing business. Um, and, and we're going to talk about, you know, a, a lot of marketing things as we go through this presentation today. I want you to think about if you, there's things that you can do better to create uh, better real estate experiences for you and your clients, right? And maybe even your referring agents. And I want to show you how home inspectors in respite compliant ways and home inspector, you know, uh, ethic uh, compliant ways can be an agent's best extended business partner. And I get it. When you hear that, you're like, oh, we don't work for real estate agents. And, and I guarantee you, we don't work for real estate agents. Um, I never want that impression. Um, but we do have a mutual client. And there's no reason why we can't work with that real estate agent to give our mutual clients a great real estate experience. And um, so we'll talk a little bit about that. I definitely want to teach you the benefits of pre-listing home inspections. I mean, that's one big leg of the inspectedhouses.com platform is, is to try and promote and, and perform pre-listing home inspections. And I want to show you how real estate agents and home inspectors can work together to end a lot of the anger and anxiety and uncertainty in the home buying and, and selling process. And I want to teach you some things that we do in our own company that have helped us uh, be successful. And for years, I've been, you know, probably over a decade, I've been promoting, you know, the concept of pre-listing home inspections to real estate agents and kind of been butting my head against the wall, it seems like. So, you know what, I, I ran across this quote by Socrates who says, the secret to change is to focus all your energy, not on fighting the old, but on building the new. 
So I was like, okay, well, if the real estate agents don't want to change uh, the message that they're giving to the general public, I'm going to build a marketing tool and, and create our own message. And that's really what we did with the Inspected Houses platform. And I started this platform because one, I wanted a niche in my own market. I wanted a, a unique selling point in my own market for my own home inspection company. And we have 42 families to feed and you know, I need to keep you know, um, using in, innovative technology to stay ahead of the curve and, and be in front of the competition and to keep our phones ringing. So I definitely wanted a niche. And, you know, anyone that signs up for inspected houses will have a niche because we've publicly stated we're not going to sign up more than 10% of inspectors per market. Um, and uh, I wanted to change the timing of when we connect with buyers and sellers. If you think about it, a lot of times we don't connect with buyers or sellers until they've already met the real estate agent. Well, with this platform, we are actually finding ways to connect with buyers and sellers um, you know, before the agent does. And, and that helps us reduce, um, you know, how much we rely on real estate agents, you know, for referrals. Um, I wanted to change, you know, the realtor inspector relationship. You know, sometimes, you know, as a home inspector, we get the impression from realtors that they're way up here and we're way down there. And, it, you know, nothing should be farther from the truth. I mean, we take classes, we pass tests, we carry insurance, we do continuing ed. Um, you know, we're licensed, uh, we're insured, we employ people, you know, the most real estate agents don't employ anyone. So we're business professionals. And we're involved in, you know, 90% of real estate transactions when we do home inspections. So we should be, you know, viewed as equals, not, you know, that we're lesser than the real estate agent. So I wanted to, you know, change that relationship. I, I definitely wanted a tool to be more valuable to real estate agents in a RESPA compliant way, in a home inspector law compliant way. There's a lot of you listening to this that do market to real estate agents. And there's some of you that will say you'll never market to real estate agents. And that's fine. You know, you can use this tool either way. But if you're marketing to real estate agents, you know, this is a great tool to use. Um, and, uh, you know, I'll show you why when we uh, get more into the presentation. Uh, I also started this program because I was sick of real estate agents labeling home inspectors as deal killers. You know, when we go out and inspect a house, you know, we're just doing our job. We're informing people of, you know, roofing issues, plumbing issues, electrical deficiencies, whatever the case may be. It's not our fault that those deficiencies are there. And it's not our fault that a buyer gets scared because of the amount of deficiencies in the house. So by performing pre-listing home inspections, we're eliminating that word deal killer. As a matter of fact, I've never ever had a deal get killed when we've done a pre-listing home inspection. Hmm. Um, I definitely wanna change the culture of real estate and end a lot of the anger and anxiety and uncertainty you know, that's in the process. Um, and there's actually a lot of tech companies out there that may not have our industry's best interest at heart who are you know, saying that the real estate industry is broken, the way houses are sold is wrong. And you know, like Zillow Instant Offers, for example, right? Go look up all the things that are saying. So technology is entering the industry and I knew that it was going to years ago. So that's why I started this platform because I'm like, you know, if technology is coming to the industry, why not, you know, create a really cool platform for inspectors to use and, you know, have a platform that's, you know, owned by the inspection, or, you know, community, uh, so to speak. Um, and with this platform, you'll understand that the only way any real estate agent can use it is if they go through a home inspector. That's how I built it to work. So the home inspector is always going to be the gatekeeper of this platform. Okay. And then of course, I wanted a unique marketing tool, you know, that will help in a down economy and in a changing market. And I'm going to be the first one to tell you that this platform is going to be even better in a buyer's market than it is in a seller's market. You know, right now it's so easy for sellers and agents to sell houses. Maybe pre-listing home inspections isn't, you know, one of the top things they're thinking about, right? But if it's a buyer's market and houses are sitting on the market longer, then yes, this tool becomes more valuable, okay? And then again, I wanted a tool to connect directly with buyers and sellers versus just, uh, you know, relying on real estate agents for referrals, okay? so. When we talk about marketing, let's, you know, let, let's decide what marketing is. And then let's talk about some of the things that we do as home inspectors uh, when we market. Okay. So the, you know, basically the definition marketing is an activity and process for creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offerings that have value for customers, 
clients, partners, and society at large. Honest to goodness, I think the Inspected Houses platform, you know, checks all of those boxes. Okay. Um, when we market, you know, in our home inspection industry, what are, you know, we're marketing obviously to get our phones to ring and, and to try and, you know, build our sales. But honestly, I think we're marketing to build our reputation and, and brand awareness and, and not every piece of marketing that we do is going to generate an immediate sale. We're trying to create some top of mind awareness. And I think that many of you don't understand that, right? And what's really cool about this platform, and I'm going to show you later, is we now have a system where we can get our logo in a yard of a house that's for sale for 30 to 90 days at a time. So now anyone driving by that house sees our logo. They might not call us for an inspection, but they see our logo. Any real estate agent walking up that driveway sees our logo. Any buyer walking up that driveway sees our logo. Maybe they'll call us off the sign, maybe they won't. But again, it's a really cheap form of advertising and marketing and, and building top of mind awareness, okay? Um, as a home inspector, <clears throat> who are we generally marketing to? Well, at Aardvark, we obviously market to agents and, and we market to buyers, um, but we're also you know, marketing to other people. Uh, mortgage uh, companies, we'll go talk to them. You can go uh, market to attorneys like divorce attorneys. Obviously a house is gonna have to get sold, an estate attorney. So think about you know, all the different people you know, that you can market to, not just you know, agents and buyers, okay? And when we go out and market to these people, how are we really doing it? Well, I mean, we could do mass emails, you know, to agents, but only 20% of people will open up a mass email, okay? Um, we can drop off flyers at offices. Sometimes those flyers get thrown in the trash. We can do, you know, one-on-one -on -one coffee meetings. We can do um, CE presentations. We can do office presentations and bring in lunch and all that kind of stuff. So we've done all, you know, some guys will deliver the candy bowls just to get into offices, but marketing has changed over the years because back in the day when we started, we could walk in an office and there'd be 30, 40 agents in an office and we could, you know, talk to a bunch of different agents and, and start a relationship or, or strengthen an, a, an existing relationship. But now nobody's in offices. The real estate agents are working for home. You know, I went and visited three offices last week and I got to see two agents and those were the only two in the office besides, you know, the gatekeeper. So it's really changed a lot. And um, so that's why I like this platform because, um, you know, it helps us do some automated and ongoing um, text marketing uh, messages to real estate agents. And it's all FCC compliant. You technically can't be sending uh, marketing messages um, that are unsolicited via text, okay? So with our system, uh, we actually get real estate agents to text in and, you know, the FCC uh, looks at that as someone opting in for communication. And then our system will automatically, you know, uh, um, text message them on a monthly basis, bi-monthly basis, whatever you want to set up. And those messages can be anything that you want them to see. So maybe if we have time, I'll show you the back end of how that works today, okay? Um, you know, ask yourself this, why don't we as, you know, home inspectors, you, you know, do passive marketing like postcards and commercials and billboards and, you know, radio ads? Well, you know, for us, we've never really gotten into it um, because, you know, there's only so many people, you know, buying a house, so many people at that, you know, moment. Now, it might be good for us to do it to build that top of mind awareness, but the ROI to me has never been really worth it, okay? But what's really cool is if you can do targeted marketing, and that's why having a sign uh, in a yard um, with your logo on it is a great way to do marketing because now it's targeted. Anyone walking up that driveway, you know, buyer or an agent is your target market. That's who you wanna reach. So to have their eyeballs on your logo is awesome, okay? Um, why don't we market to sellers? Think about that. Why don't you market to sellers? I mean, uh, sellers sell in their house, but they got to buy one somewhere. So we traditionally focus on buyers, but why not start focusing on sellers? And that's what this platform has really done for us is we were able to start marketing to sellers and getting a seller's inspection, but then also doing the inspection on the house that they were buying. 
but it got even better with this platform because now we had our logo in the yard and with some special text codes that we create on our signs, which I'll demonstrate to you later. And now we were getting buyer leads and we were able to, you know, market directly to those buyers. So my record is 11 leads off of one sign and those turned into three buyers inspections. So really, I did a seller inspection. I did the inspection for the seller and the house they're buying. Plus, I did three more. So in essence, we turned one inspection into five with this platform. Now, that's my record. I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to happen for you all the time like that. But you will um, be able to connect with buyers directly with this program. Okay. Um, so let's go uh, you know, to this slide right here. <clears throat> we all want to stand out in a crowd. We all want a USP. We want something that makes us unique and different, correct? And when we go out and market to you know, real estate agents, what do we say to them? What do we say to real estate agents? What are you saying that's unique and different? Here's what we say. I'm the best home inspector in the world. Guess what? They've heard that from every other home inspector. Never in the history of a home inspector doing a presentation has the home inspector said, you know, I'm just kind of like an average home inspector, maybe bottom of the barrel kind of guy. And I'm going to freak your client out and kill your deal. <laughs> Nobody has ever said that. We all say the same thing. I'm the best home inspector in the world, right? What else do agents hear us say when we go do presentations? Hey, send me some business, send me some referrals so I can feed my family and pay my bills. Give me, give me, give me, give me, right? That's what they're hearing from us when we do presentations. And why in God's green earth would an agent want to meet with you and hear the same thing over again, right? You might get some new agents to meet with you and listen to that pitch, but you're not going to get the experienced agents to do that, right? So how are you going to get agents to give you the time of day? How, what are you going to say that's going to be unique? What are you going to do during your presentation to have them on automated and ongoing marketing? Well, that's what this system does for us, okay? So imagine being able to go into a real estate office and, and basically saying to them, hey, you know, as a home inspector, I'm always asking you for business so I can feed my family and pay my bills. But up until now, I haven't really been able to help you get clients. Well, I just joined a new national program that allows me to market all of your listings, capture leads, drive leads to your listing, and drive leads to your own website. And this program works extremely well with pre-listing home inspections, which are becoming more and more popular. Currently, there's three different ways that we capture leads with this system. But instead of talking about it, I want you to experience it. Text demo to this number. That's it. That's the pitch. That's all you have to do. And then you do the demonstration with them, which I'm going to do with you right now. So what I want all of you to do is text INFO31 to 574-574. 406-0288. So Ben, you need to do this. <laughs> and I promise all of you, you're not going to get spam messages. You're not going to get, you know, some guy calling you to try and sell you a car or anything like that. The only person, you know, getting your lead is me. And then the only marketing message you get is just from the system showing you how the system will work with ongoing um, text messages. And there's only like two of them that you're going to get. One of them is actually going to be a link to sign up for this program and get a three month free trial. So if you text in, you're going to get a link to go to an inspected house's property page. And once you're there, you're going to be able to see, you know, what that property page is like. So I'm getting a bunch of people texting in. So I got Ben's right here. Um, and what I'm going to do is if everybody, uh, I'm going to go over it. Yep. Now click on that link that says view property. So everybody click on that link that says view property. So you can go to the inspected houses um, property page. So you can see what it looks like now. So pretend you're the real estate agent and you know, I'm the home inspector given, you know, the presentation to them. I'm like, Hey, you know, if this was your listing, we just had a buyer text in, we drove them right to your listing and you can see that we have the address of the house. We even can post a video to this property page. Zillow doesn't have videos on their property page. And if you hit the little white arrows, you can see you know, that we have your house photos there, just like on any other home searching website. Now, if we scroll down underneath that, you can see that there's some comments. Now those comments don't describe this house. They actually describe this system. Let me read those to you. 
and it's a built-in sales pitch for you guys. All you have to do is read these comments to the agent. Now, I'm not going to read these to you, but you can read them later and you'll understand what I'm saying. Now, so after you get done reading those comments, you come down here to where it says purchase home inspection report. And you say, now look, if we did a pre-listing home inspection report, we can load that report to this platform. And now it's kind of like Carfax for houses. Go ahead and click on that purchase report button. So they click on the button and you can see that that report is available for $20. Now, buyers are loving this platform because now they're able to make educated offers on houses versus uneducated offers on houses. And they're able to narrow down their searches based on you know the condition of the house. So that's good for them. Sellers are loving this platform because when people narrow down the searches for their house, they have less tire kickers and looky loos coming through their house. And they really appreciate that during COVID, right? But they get the money for that sold report. That's their report that we're helping them sell. So it's a way for them to recover some of the cost of the home inspection. So that's their benefit. But here's the best thing that happens for you, the real estate agent. You get that smoking hot, accurate buyer lead. When someone buys that report, that's a hot lead. They opened up their wallet. They're serious about the house. And it's an accurate lead because you can't buy something on the internet and give a fake name, fake phone number, or fake address. So certainly this platform isn't going to produce the number of leads that like say Zillow will or something like that. But these are the highest quality leads you're ever going to get. And they're the best leads you're ever going to get because you get them for free. If it's your listing, it's your lead. And, you know, we all know that real estate agents spend hundreds of thousands of dollars a month looking for buyer leads. Well, guess what? With this platform, you get them for free. Now, let's go back uh, to the property page. So we go back there. We scroll down. You can see this is where the real estate agent would go. Now, uh, unlike other home searching websites, only the listing agent is here. There's no premier agents or any of that kind of stuff. And as the real estate agent, you control all the data on this property page. So you can import your photo, your company logo, your email address, your phone number. You can even write a bio about yourself to tell everyone how great you are. You can't do that on other home searching sites, okay? Now, if we scroll down even farther, you can see that's where the home inspector is. Now, this is the home inspector's benefit. Obviously, when these leads come in, we get those leads and that's our opportunity to market directly to that buyer. And then we also get some marketing or exposure of anyone looking for this uh, house. And then we scroll down to the very bottom, there's a contact form. And if that contact form is filled out, maybe someone you know, just wants more information about the house, but they don't necessarily want to buy the report. Well, when that contact form is filled out, it creates a lead, which again, you're going to get instantly, you get automatically and get for free. Okay. And inspected houses will never share or sell any kind of data um, that comes in. The only people getting that buyer lead are the home inspector and uh, the agent associated with that property. Okay. So now people ask me, you know, what about sign designs and what do you do? Okay. So this is what we've kind of evolved to where we went to co-branded signs with the real estate agent. So it looks really nice in their color scheme. Our logo is on a sign, their logo is on a sign and every sign has a unique code, right? So it could be like home one, home two, home three. And if someone texts home one, they go to that house. Home two, they go to that house. Home three, they go to that house. Now, once that house sells, you can reassign that code and reuse that sign at a different house, okay? But anyway, so what we do is we have the real estate agents, you know, set out the signs and pick them up. We don't set out the signs. We don't pick them up. What we do on the back end is we just import the data into the system, which literally takes me five minutes. So if I have time later and you guys want me to create a property page and create a marketing code, I can show you how all that works. But really five minutes worth of work is all you have to do on your end. Once you get an agent signed up and they're on board, you know, you can do that. And, you know, there's different signs that we can use and different messages that we can put on signs. And those signs can create leads where the real estate agent sign may not. So if you look at the sign on the left, it said, hey, this home's pre-inspected, text a code, report available. Well, guess what? A buyer may say to themselves, hey, you know what? This home's been pre-inspected. We can see the report. And they text in. 
right? Thinking that they can, you know, see the report. Well, once they text in, that creates a lead, which you get instantly and automatically, just like all the leads I got when people started texting in, okay? So the real estate agent loves that because they get that lead instantly and automatically too. <clears throat> and then the sign on the right, you can use this platform to market all houses, all of them, okay? So if a house hasn't been pre-inspected, the purchase report button does not pop up on the property page. So you see the sound sign on the right, it says for house info, inspection, discount, text that code. We actually got a lead off of a sign like that and the person wasn't even interested in the house. And what happened is I called them up. I said, hey, this is David. You texted on that house on, I think it was, I don't know what street it was, let's say Main Street. So you texted on that house on Main Street, you know, uh, are you working with a real estate agent? And, you know, so I'd find out if they're working with an agent or not, and, you know, just go through the conversation. And, you know, I said, Hey, so do you really like that house? And they said, no, I really didn't like the house. And I'm like, you don't. And he's like, no, we know that uh, we're going to need a house somewhere. And we just wanted to text in to see what kind of inspection discount we could get. So given the inspection discount actually created a lead for us, but it created a lead, um, you know, for the agent. And again, I can show you how, if we have time, when someone texts in, how we drive them um, or how we can drive them to a hidden discount page on our website. So if we get, if we have enough time, I'll go through that too, okay? But those signs can produce leads. You can even, you know, make a sign like this. Many of you offer protection with the inspection. Some of you offer, you know, the buyback guarantee. So, uh, you know, you could make a sign up and, and put the buyback guarantee logo on it and let our, and make that part of your pre-listing pitch to real estate agents. Hey, like, you know, if someone does a pre-listing home inspection with me, that buyer moves in the house, guess what? They're automatically protected with the buyback guarantee. So that's pretty awesome. Um, you know, if some of you use RWS warranties, um, you can say, hey, this home's been pre-inspected and comes with a five-year roof leak warranty, right? They also have an 18-month home warranty that's available. So there's you can make these signs up to be whatever you want, okay? Now, here's the magic question everyone asks me. Do these signs produce leads, okay? So here is um, a screenshot of a realtor in my system. You can see there's four different properties. It may be hard to see on your computer screen, but the top one produced three leads, the next one, six leads, the next one, six leads, and the next one, one lead. So yes, the signs do produce leads. And here's the next question. Do those leads turn into clients? Okay. So this is what I always do. When I get the lead, I'll call the, or I'll text the agent and say, Hey, did you get that lead today? This agent said, yes, we spoke and I'm working on getting her approval. So yeah, they got the lead and yes, it turned into a client, right? Here's another one. Uh, agent had us a house in the system and it, and it created two leads. Okay. So again, Hey, did you get that buyer lead? Yes, I did. I talked to her already. I'm going to help her and her husband find a house. Their lease is up in April. Thanks for checking in. Now, let me ask you something. Do you think real estate agents want to do business with maybe a home inspector who in a respite compliant way can get them leads and help them grow their business, grow their you know bottom line? Or do they want to do business with a home inspector that brings them candy that only grows their waistline? Right? <laughs> so seriously, I did the candy thing. This is much cheaper. It's 49 bucks a month. It's way cheaper than candy. And the return on investment is way better. And the agents love it. Okay. Here's another one. This isn't one of my agents. This is, uh, you know, an agent in Ohio. And you can see that she had a house loaded and it produced four leads. So what I did is I Facebook messaged her. And I said, hey, Gina, I heard you had a couple of leads off your house. One was a sold report. And you already had the house under contract. She said, yeah, it's under contract. And the leads were the offers. And I said, all right, cool. I saw in the system, the report was sold and you had some people texting, congrats, this is awesome. She's like, thanks, it went over a list price. The couple was very lenient with possession. So anyway, that basically shows you right there that you know the signs will produce leads, the leads can turn into sales, okay? Um, let's go look in this next page. This next page is kind of what I'll, uh, uh, you know, um, leads can look like in the back end you know, when they um, come to the phone, they look one way. And when they come into your email, you know, they look a different way. So this was, you know, uh, a lead that came in. Okay. Um, just another one. I'm not going to go through all of that stuff. And then um, here's a sold report. 
So this is what a sold report will look like. So, you know, inspectors always ask me, how do we know if there's a sold report? Well, you get the lead. You know, there's a sold report because you get the lead, right? And on the back end, this is kind of what it looks like for us in inspected houses. When those leads come in, we get notified, hey, you had a sold report. We're able to identify what that report was for what address. And we're able to email that client and say, hey, you've had a sold report. How would you like to get paid? Right. And, you know, there's different ways that we can pay people. But anyway, so this was a sold report. But check this out. This report was bought from a client that lived 263 miles away. They were in Memphis and they bought a report on a house that was for sale in Texarkana, right? So it's not just people uh, local that are seeing, you know, the, uh, you know these, these houses, these property pages, right? So again, think about it. You have a buyer moving in from 260 miles away, that lead is created. That's your opportunity to market directly to that buyer. Okay. Um, so, uh, you know, I always tell, you know, home inspectors and real estate agents, you know, I show them this slide, instead of risking anything new, you can play it safe and, you know, continue a slow de decline into obsolescence, right? Because that's what's going to happen. Right? If you just keep doing what you're doing, technology is going to pass us by. There's already companies out there trying, you know, to, you know, um, eliminate a lot of the real estate uh, industry, you know, all these instant offers programs, open door, offer pad, knock.com, you know, and if they're successful, what are they really doing to us? Well, they're diminishing our referral sources. I mean, if they get a strong foothold in the industry and now there's less real estate agents, well, guess what? That's less referral sources for us. Okay. So just think about that. You know, you think about doing something new. It's not that expensive to try this program. Um, so what I want to do is I want to, you know, spend some time, again, whether you sign up for this program or not, I want to educate, educate you about the, the benefits for pre-listing home inspections for agents, for sellers, for buyers, and, you know, for us as home inspectors. And I think if you're going to, whether, again, whether you use inspectedhouses.com or not, or even use InterNACHI's uh, move-in certified program, which, you know, is a cool program. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles we have, but that's a great program and it's free. You know, whether you use either one of those programs, you need to be able to explain the benefits of pre-listing uh, inspections to, you know, all the parties involved. Okay. So here's the thing. This program, you know, the inspected houses program and the message and the concept of pre-listing home inspections helps agents get more listings. Absolutely. And we actually developed a script. So if you're a member of inspectedhouses.com, we developed a script that you can give to real estate agents that they can use at listing appointments to explain all the programs. We also have marketing flyers that we use that we share with people, again, that, that you can create with your agent and they can use that flyer at listing appointments, right? So it helps them get listings. It helps them get more buyers to work with. It increases their chances of getting both sides of the transaction. Now, in some markets, real estate agents aren't allowed to get both sides of the transaction, and that's okay. But if you think about it, if they got four buyer leads off their listing, only one person can buy that house. Well, now they have three other buyers that they can try and sell a different house to, okay? So that's one of their biggest benefits, okay? Another benefit is they don't have to spend 50% of their real estate life putting out home inspection fires. I'm not going to sit here and profess that if you do a pre-listing home inspection, they won't have anything to deal with when the buyer's inspector comes along, but their life is a lot easier if they went from 20 deficiencies to deal with down to one or two. And that's usually what happens. Okay. Um, they don't have to worry about the deal falling through, at least due to the home inspection. Again, if you're a, if you go out and you do a high quality home inspection, you know, you're going to find all the major things. Any home inspector can come behind you and find something little, but those aren't going to be the deal breakers. Okay. And, and we actually have a way to deal with another inspector come behind you, uh, which we'll talk about, uh, you know, near the end. Um, agents don't have to dip in their own pocket just to get deals to close. Sometimes after we do the inspection for the buyer, you know, there's that second round of negotiations and the seller has already come down as much as they're coming down. The buyer's gone up as much as they're coming up. There's a gap. Well, sometimes the agents 
will pay for that termite treatment or that radon job or, you know, whatever needs to get fixed. You know, they'll each dip in their own pocket just to get the deal to close because they'd rather get the deal to close than to start all over. And they'd rather get paid something than not get paid anything. Well, this program eliminates that from happening, okay? Um, agents are gonna have happier clients and sell houses faster and, and sell houses for more money. And what I actually will do if, if you sign up for the program and, and you get agents you know, to come to a Zoom meeting, I'll come on and explain the program to them for you. And I've had agents tell me on some of these Zoom meetings that, you know what? Even though the house closes and they get to the closing table, their sellers aren't happy. They reluctantly agreed to close on the house because they didn't want to start all over, but they weren't happy. They didn't get all the money that they thought they were going to get. And the same thing for buyers. Sometimes buyers reluctantly agree to close on the house because you know they don't have anywhere else to go. And now they're closing on a house which has a bunch of deficiencies that they weren't counting on having. So you know this program creates a better real estate experience for everyone involved in the transaction, okay? And then agents in a hot or a slow market, they can use this system. It's kind of like a 24 seven open house. They can use this system to get buyers uh, to work with, okay? So those are some of the benefits. And again, you need to get good at explaining the benefits to the, to the agents if you wanna get them on board with pre-listing inspections, okay? Now, what are the benefits for the sellers, okay? First thing is, the seller can say, hey, look, in the interest of full disclosure, we had the house inspected. Here's everything that we know that's wrong with the house. We're fixing X, Y, and Z. We're not fixing anything else. Please make your offer accordingly. So guess what? They're now in control of the negotiations versus the buyer who says, hey, look, we had our inspection done. We want X, Y, and Z fixed or we're not buying the house. Right? So you see how powerful this can be for sellers if they know what's wrong up front. They get to dictate up front what they're fixing and not fixing. And you know they also get to look more transparent. I mean, let's be honest. If you've ever seen a disclosure form filled out by a seller, it says, don't know, don't know, don't know. Like, does your roof leak? Don't know. Does your foundation leak? Don't know. How can you live in a house for 15 years and not know if your foundation leaks? right? So this is a way for them to be more transparent. And there's actually companies, these tech companies that are infiltrating the market, they're kind of promoting this concept and they're calling them transparency reports. It's actually a good name for it. So, um, so anyway, just keep that in mind. All right. The seller is technically more legally um, protected. I mean, what in our industry, what are we really doing for a buyer and a seller and a real estate agent when we do a pre-listing home inspection? We're basically, you know, giving people a layer of protection. I mean, it kind of stinks that we're the least paid person in the transaction and have the most liability, but that's the nature of the game, right? People are relying on us, you know, when we do a buyer's inspection, they're relying on us to give them a good report. So when they walk in the house, they're not walking into a bunch of unforeseen um, and undisclosed, you know, deficiencies, okay? So this is a way, again, for a seller to be more legally protected versus just filling out a disclosure form, okay? Um, sellers worry much less about, you know, deals being killed and missing out on their next house. And if you ask me, that's the worst thing about the way real estate is sold is, you know, a buyer's inspection done so late in the process could not just ruin one deal, but it could ruin another deal. You know, sellers are counting on a closing to happen on the house they live in in order to buy their dream house. And sometimes that buyer's inspection done late in the process messes that up, okay? Um, buyers can save money by building repair costs into the price of the house. So if they know, for example, they need a new roof, well, they could say, hey, 250 with a new roof, 230 the way it sits, right? But once they accept an offer for 230 and then they find out they need a new roof, they can't go back and change the price. So when they know about things up front, they can you know, budget and plan accordingly. They can also save money by having time to shop around and get better repair prices, okay? So in my market, everyone knows that if repairs are needed and it's subject to a real estate transaction, these contractors are charging rush premium pricing. I mean, they're dropping the job that they're at to go do this job just to get it to close on time. So they're charging rush pricing. And it's stressful trying to get these repairs made under the gun. So sellers know about it up front. They have time to shop around and it's much less stress. Uh, it's less stressful for the seller and for the agent. Okay. Um, 
they can save money making their own repairs. Now, let's just say we went out as a home inspector and said, hey, you know, your kitchen outlets are not GFCI protected. Okay. Well, if we do that for a buyer, then the buyer and the buyer's agent and some lenders are going to require a licensed electrician to do it. Okay. But if we do it for a seller before a buyer even comes along before the house even hits the market, well, guess what? If they're really handy and know what they're doing, they could go to Lowe's and buy that outlet for 15 bucks and install it themselves. Or they could get someone to do the work on the side, you know, that knows a lot about like electric. Um, installing outlets. Either way, they can save money, you know, by maybe doing some repairs themselves, okay, versus having to hire a contractor. And then the last thing is, if the deal doesn't fall through, obviously, they're not making more mortgage payments, so they can save money there, okay? So those are all the benefits. Now, what about the buyer's benefits? Everyone always thinks about the seller and maybe the agents when deals fall through, but they never think about the buyer. So first of all, when we do a pre-listing home inspection, you know, buyers are getting information uh, about houses before they make an offer on it, before they put money down. I mean, I think the way real estate sold is kind of crazy because buyers are making the biggest investment of their life. They sign on a dotted line to do that. And then they say, okay, let's go find out what we bought. Let's get our home inspection done. That's crazy. You know, like Ben would never come to me and say, man, Dave, you guys built an awesome business at Aardvark. I'm going to give you $5 million for it, sign the contract to do it, and then say, okay, Dave, let's open up the books and see what I bought, right? It wouldn't work that way. That's not how we do business. But in real estate, that's kind of how it is. It's crazy, okay? So by them getting more information up front with a pre-listing home inspection, it's much better, okay? Um, they worry less about spending weeks and months looking for houses and getting an offer accepted and, and then having you know issues found at the last minute killing their deal. Okay, so that's another reason they like to see pre-listing inspection reports. If you think about it, buyers can have, you know, over two grand wrapped up in the home buying process. You know, they have the inspection costs, the appraisal costs, environmental testing, well and septics. They take time off of work to be there. They got all this money wrapped up in this house. And when the inspection's done at the last minute and the deal gets killed, they just wasted all that money. They're not getting that money back. And now they got to risk another two grand on the next house. So it's just much better for buyers if they can know more about houses up front. And again, you know, in my market, we're a smaller market. It's not that big of a deal to fight traffic. But imagine being in Chicago or Atlanta or LA, you know, and you got to drive to a house to see what it's like. And, you know, sometimes buyers will walk in a house. They're there for 60 seconds. They turn around and leave. And they just wasted a lot of time driving to that house. And so this is a way for them, again, to narrow down their search and know if they're really interested in the house or not before they physically visit it, okay? Now, what about home inspectors? What are our benefits to pre-listing home inspections, all right? Well, the first thing is, you know, we get to be viewed as helping end the frustration and anger and uncertainty often found with the home buying and selling process. And, you know, that condition alone is going to improve our relationship with realtors. Instead of being viewed as like this necessary evil for a buyer's inspection, now we're viewed as someone that's really helping the transaction, okay? Um, the label deal killer is eliminated. And, you know, really, you know, it's not, I, you know, I know some home inspectors can go off the rails and say things that are crazy and maybe freak some clients out, but I don't think that's the norm. So I don't think in general that home inspectors kill deals, but I do think it's the timing of the home inspection, which kills the deal. And obviously, you know, when that buyer's inspection is done at the 11th hour and we find a bunch of deficiencies you know, the realtors have to kind of renegotiate the deal. They got to calm everyone down and put the deal back together. And, you know, it's crazy that they give people an opportunity to say no after they've already said yes, but that's how they're selling real estate. And, and there's a better way for them to do that. Okay. Um, pre, uh, pre-sale inspections will actually increase the number of inspection opportunities. Obviously, if you do one for the seller, you know, that's great. And then you can do an inspection on the house that that seller is buying. Okay. But when you get the leads off of a listing, now that's your opportunity to do more inspections. Okay. Um, so that's really good. And um, the inspector, you know, can, you know, make extra money doing reinspections or updated inspections. So sometimes a seller will get the inspection done and, you know, we find a bunch of things that are wrong 
and they're like, hey, don't load that report to the system. You can help market the house, but don't load the report. Um, I want to make some repairs and then have you come back and, and, you know, reassess the condition of the house. So you can, you know, charge a fee to do a, a reinspection and, you know, update the report and then load it to the inspected houses system. Um, you have an opportunity to leave your marketing materials in the house. And certainly with this program, you have an opportunity to have your sign in the yard, which, you know, is very valuable, um, is, you know, in a marketing sense. Okay. Um, and, you know, you have a USP. There's a lot of home inspectors out there that don't promote pre-listing home inspections. And one of the biggest reasons they don't do it, and this is what they tell me, is they're afraid of another inspector coming behind them and making them look bad. And my response to them is, well, if you're worried about an inspector finding something that you didn't, then you probably shouldn't be doing inspections because it's no better if a buyer moves into a house and finds something that you missed. Right. So you sh you got to be confident enough in this industry to do quality inspections. And, you know, you should not be shying away from pre-listing home inspections. It's the same thorough inspection that you do for buyers. OK, um, the inspector, you know, obviously we talked about having the opportunity to leave your signs uh, in yards for an extended period of time. Uh, getting those leads when, when you sign up for this program, you get your first lead off of a sign. I can't describe the feeling. You're pretty giddy when you get it. And when those leads come in, you know, um, the conversation that you can have with those buyers is awesome. And, uh, and when you sign up for this program, I actually give you scripts and, and, and tell you what I say to buyers uh, when they text in, okay? Um, and, uh, you know, the other thing that you need to understand about pre-listing home inspections is how to overcome the objections. So I told you all the benefits. Now I want to teach you the objections. These are things that real estate agents will say. So if you go out and you start marketing, you know, the concept of pre-listing home inspections, you're going to get uh, different objections. Number one objection I've heard agents say, I don't want my sellers to have to disclose everything. I'm like, well, that's crazy. You know, legally, they're supposed to disclose everything. And if a real estate agent says, I don't want my seller to have to disclose everything, I mean, that kind of sounds like they want to be, you know, hiding stuff or they're shady or not honest. And, you know, so I always tell agents, I'm like, you know, first of all, they're supposed to disclose everything. And two, um, if your son or daughter were buying a house, would you want the seller to be, you know, completely transparent? Absolutely, you would. And the other thing is, you know, these things are going to be found anyway right? It doesn't matter if they're found up front or, or, or in the back end, um, they're going to be found. And the difference is when they're found in the front end, you can be proactive and deal with these things versus reactive, okay? Uh, can you imagine a real estate agent standing in front of a judge and the judge says, you know, there's a lot of uh, agents out there that promote pre-listing home inspections as a form of full disclosure, you didn't do that. You just relied on the seller's disclosure form. How come you didn't get a pre-listing home inspection? And then the agent says, well, I didn't want my seller to have to disclose everything. It's the stupidest comment in the world, okay? It's easy to overcome, all right? Uh, the next one, they say, well, if I ask my seller to spend money on a pre-listing home inspection, I won't get the listing. Nothing can be farther from the truth. As a matter of fact, this is a way for agents to get listings over other agents because now they're going to go to the listing appointment with the script that you give them and they're going to sound unique. They're going to sound different than every other presentation that they've heard. Okay. And um, again, I won't go into the whole spiel on that, but we do have an awesome script. When you sign up for the program, you'll be able to give it to the agents. And this is when the magic happens. When that agent actually calls you back and says, you know what? I was kind of skeptical, but I used that script and I got the listing because of that script. That's an amazing feeling when they call and tell you that, okay? Um, now, the other thing that they say is, you know, houses are selling so fast, I don't need to do a pre-listing inspection. And they're right. Never in the history of, of real estate has it been this easy to sell a house. I mean, they put a house in the market and like two days later, they have a bunch of offers on it. And so my response to an agent is, what good does that do you if you don't have the listing? How come there's a Keller Williams sign in the yard, not your sign? Or a Century 21 sign in the yard, not your sign? Or a Coldwell Banker sign? Why isn't your sign in those yards? If it's the easiest time in the world to sell houses, don't you want more listings? This is a way for you to sound unique and get listings, okay? 
So that's how you overcome that one. And then the last one is, well, hey, another home inspector is just going to come along later and find something the first guy didn't. And yeah, that's true. But wouldn't your real estate life be a lot easier if you went from 20 deficiencies down to one or two? And wouldn't it be a lot easier if those deficiencies weren't the deal killers? Right. So, you know, that's how you overcome that. You know, any home inspector can come behind me and find something and vice versa, but it's not going to be the deal breakers. But here's something that you can do to make it even more powerful, right? You can offer protection with the inspection. Now, I know some of you don't believe in it, and that's okay. I'm not putting you down, run your business how you want. But when you offer protection with the inspection, it's actually really awesome. And so I'll give you a couple examples. So we use the RWS warranties and, and um, we went out, we did a pre-listing home inspection for a client, lived in their house for 10 years. And, you know, we test all the sinks, toilets, tubs, showers, dishwasher, washing machine. We go above and beyond, you know, the SOPs, everything drained great. Customer lived there for 10 years, never had a problem. Buyer's inspector came along and actually did a sewer scope. And they found a crack in the sewer line. Well, they were able to file a claim and get a couple thousand dollars to help get that fixed, right? So, you know, it could be something like mold. Maybe another inspector finds mold and you didn't. Well, guess what? The client can file a claim, get the mold taken care of. Maybe it's a you know, leak under a sink. Whatever the case may be, if it's covered by the warranties, they can come in handy, right? And real estate agents like to hear that. But we also negotiated, what I did is I negotiated with um, RWS, Nathan Thornberry, to give mortgage payment protection. Now you can only offer, and this is free. You don't have to pay for this warranty. If you're a member of RWS and you're using their warranties and you're a member of inspectedhouses.com, you can basically tell real estate agents, hey, look, if another inspector comes behind me and finds something that kills the deal or delays the closing, then the seller is gonna get their mortgage payment made up to five grand a month for three months. How cool is that? Right. And when you tell real estate agents that they really love it, they, they're like, wow, they, you should see their eyes pop. So anyway, you know, yes, inspectors can come behind you and find something that you didn't, but it should be little stuff, not like anything major if you did a good job. And if you are offering warranties, you know, they can provide everyone a layer of protection, including yourself. And it's a really cool marketing tool. And then, of course, you got the buyback guarantee. So you can always, you know, let the agent know, hey, I offer the buyback guarantee. So any buyer that comes in and buys this house, they're going to be protected with that buyback guarantee, right? So it gives them a layer of protection and peace of mind. Now, one thing I want you to all understand, I did not create this platform to replace the buyer's inspection with a pre-listing home inspection, all right? the buyer should always get their own inspection because the condition of the house can change from when the pre-listing inspection was done until when they come along, right? And in my market, 80% of the time, buyers still get their own inspection. So we do a pre-listing home inspection, eight out of 10 times, they still get their own inspection. I got that number because I always call the agents that I do the pre-listing for and say, hey, did the buyer get their own inspection? Yes. Did they get their own inspection? Yes. And so I tracked it. And about 80% of the time, they're getting their own inspection. So what does that mean for our industry? We just went from one inspection per transaction to 1.8. Think about that. That's huge. And, you know, and right now, you know, people are waiving inspections, which is terrible for everybody. But I created this program not to replace buyer's inspections. I created it to, you know, um, for all the reasons that I've stated above. And one of the benefits for our industry is it's actually created uh, an increase in the number of inspections per real estate transaction. And that is awesome. Okay. Hey Dave, we're yes. coming up on the hour. I want to respect okay. everyone's time. How about right. um, jump into, if I'm interested, where do I go for more uh, information, more details about the program? How do right. I sign up and um, things like that? Right. So if you're interested, you can go to inspectedhouses.com and you can fill out the contact form. The other thing is if you text it in, you're going to get some marketing messages and you should have been, if you look at your phone, did you get a message where it says something like, you know, to learn more about the system, whatever. I believe click I did. Here. Yeah. And so if you text it in, you get a link and you're going to go uh, to a page where you can actually get a free trial, you know, as an InterNACHI member. So it's a hundred bucks to sign up and 49 bucks a month, but you get three months free if you use that link, you know, that 
so if you text it in, you're going to have that link. So if you didn't text in and you happen to be watching this on a recording, scroll back, text in, experience the system and how it works, and then you'll get that link to get the free trial. And I just um, put the URL, inspectedhouses.com, in the okay. chat so folks can go there as well. All right. And we'll also be sharing the, the video of this uh, webinar on our YouTube channels and social media. Uh, mm -hmm. Sign up for the Home Inspector Newsletter. It'll be in there. And if you wanted to ask questions, Dave, where do people go to ask you questions? Because I see we do have a few folks asking questions, but... Yeah, I can. Yeah, any kind of questions you want me to answer, I can answer now. Um, or you can always, you know, friend me on Facebook and send me private messages that way. That's a great way, you know, to, to you know, to to contact me. Um, and um, and then also you could uh, again go to inspectedhouses.com and and fill out that contact form and and then I'll get back with you that way. But if you do, if you want to do it quicker than that, just send me a Facebook private message. Awesome. And I just chatted uh, the URL to the webinars page. So give us a few hours and this video will be up. And just like Dave said, if you wanted to get that discount, um, it's in the video, in the beginning of the video. And you just text that, um, use the text system to get that discount. Yeah, info 31 to 574-406-0288. You learn how the system works and then you'll get a marketing drip messages uh, with a link to go get a free trial. It is a hundred dollar setup because we do have to purchase your lead capture number and we have costs associated, but the $49 a month, you know, that's kind of waived. So for three months. Dave Klima, I really appreciate your time. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you, Ben. I appreciate it. I really love it that, you know, uh, experienced inspectors are willing to share some of their time and some of their success stories and their ideas to help others. So I really appreciate that. Yeah. Are there, are there any questions? Is there a way for me to see what questions were asked and to answer them, even if it's uh, offline? Yeah. I'll um, download the, the chats and the texts and, um, and the questions and I'll email them to you. Okay. That sounds great. You got it. All right. Thanks. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Dave. Care. Really appreciate right. it. Bye everybody. Stay safe and healthy. I'll see you on the next webinar.